Well, I was coming back from lunch, uh, walking back to work, and I came across uh, this car that was stopped in the left-hand turn lane. There was a woman behind him, kind of yelling out her window, he's not moving. And, uh, I just peeked in the window and realized that he actually was uh, unconscious and unresponsive. And a couple of other folks were around the car, and we were all kind of peeking in. And, Honestly, it was a, I felt a little bit frozen. I didn't know quite what to do. I was knocking on, I was knocking on his window and trying to get his attention. Realized he was completely unconscious, and that's when uh, Dominic drove up or ran up and kind of got us going into action. What did you do, Dominic? I was actually on the phone with uh, someone at work, or I was having a one-on-one. -on -one, and uh, as I was driving by, I just dropped someone off at the airport and. Uh, Saw a whole bunch of people as I was coming back out, uh, out by the intersection uh, sitting there. So I thought I hung up on him, but in reality, I guess he's still on the phone. So him and everyone in the Pennsylvania call center got to hear the rest of this play out on a phone. So they thought that was kind of interesting. And uh, got there and asked if someone what was going on. And they said, Hey, he's uh, it's locked. I'm like, Is he all right? <laughs> and then uh, from there, uh, tried kicking it in. Didn't really work so well. Never, I, I didn't realize Mercedes Benz was that strong in their uh, their windshield. So yeah, that was that was interesting. And then uh, I got grabbed the uh, the old tire iron and got after it there, and uh, then we got in. I think he's being pretty. Uh, there's a bit more of the story. I mean, the, the the doors were locked, and we were pounding the window. We broke the broke the window open, and some crazy things were going on. Like the the gentleman, I think when he collapsed, he had, uh, had his foot on the brake, and we were part, He was parked on an incline, so. I didn't even think about it as Dominic, uh, you know, went into the car. He had the, the, the state of mind to pull the emergency brake up so the car wouldn't keep going. And then we worked together to, you know, to take the gentleman to the ground. And that's when sort of the CPR started. Who did the CPR? This guy right here. I did the CPR. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. They were all even. They were great. I mean, that's the reason he got uh, breathing again. Uh, he had great training. and. Uh, Whoever did it before it was obvious, so he, uh, that was the reason he stayed alive. 